Hello and welcome to the presentation of uh, time and attendance. Uh, in this video, we are going to show you the um, features of the attendance module. The attendance module itself got introduced in uh, version 2.1. So, this video is about that uh, attendance module. Okay. Let me just go to the red mine. So this is uh, one of our uh, uh, Redmine instance where we have installed the time and attendance plugin. So you will see this link at the top when that uh, plugin is installed. And then with uh, attendance module, you should see the new tab called attendance here. And also if clock in and clock out is enabled, you should see the clock in icon at the uh, top, the right top in the banner itself and so the clock in is going to be uh, green in color the icon will be green so once you click on that uh, you're clocked in and the icon changes to red so which indicates that uh, there's a clock out to you okay so so when you click on this uh, attendance uh, module you will see uh, as a ta admin you will you will be able to see all the uh, leave summary information of all the employees in your organization. Uh, so, so we have defined uh, certain leaves in the system, like casual leave, sick, sick leave, holiday, and all that. Uh, I will show that quickly on how to define them. Uh, so, to define the leaves, so you should actually be uh, going. You should go to the settings. Sorry, plugin configuration. So plugin and then configure on the plugin. You will see the um, the attendance tab also here. So in here you will have to say enable attendance module to actually show the attendance module or to use the attendance module. And also when see, when you say enable clock in slash clock out, that's when you will see the clock in and clock out uh, icon. And uh, this is where you will define your break times. We have defined three break times during the day. Uh, we can add a new break time if you want. I'll just edit the existing uh, uh, break time. Uh, this is how it looks like. You define the uh, the begin and the end time of the break time. So it will be used for uh, the attendance calculation. And this is where you define your leaves. So we have added about four leaves. You can add more leaves. Let me edit one of the leaves here. Uh, so the leave itself is a, is an issue of a project. So in here we've actually created a project called HR, which will have all the HR related um, items in there. And currently it has these leaves uh, defined as issues within HR project. Um, so this one is actually um, casual leave, it has a short name of CL, and this is where you define uh, how many hours per month uh, an employee can accrue uh, based on their employment. So right now we have set as 8 hours per month, so that user or the employee will uh, accrue 8 hours for every month of their employment. And um, so there is also a setting here at the bottom, like during their first initial year, they will not accrue anything. So, so they will start accruing eight hours per month only after the first year. And also if they cannot carry over uh, the leave from one year to the next year, you can actually reset them uh, using, you can you set one of the months as reset month, let's say as Jan. So every Jan, it will just reset their uh, accrual to zero. Mm. You define sick leave. Sick leave was are set to reset every Jan. Also, the rest of the information is same. You also define the holiday. Holiday again will get reset uh, in January. And there is no initial period. And they get uh, accrued. And then leave of pay or loss of pay, if there's no accrual, 
and there's no approval after setting and there's no reset also on this and apart from that these are some of the some of the um, settings or uh, custom fields of user users which uh, admins module users so the join date the term, termi termination date date of birth and the designation and the employer id so these sorry the employee id these actually needs to be set up as custom field in user let me just do that here go to custom fields and these are the custom fields we have defined and all of them are under users so when you go to uh, user you can actually see those values for this custom field just going to edit one of the users here you can see values for all those custom fields so join date is here birth date is here id this is the employee id which you might have given to the employee or might be an id from a different system and then there's a termination date and then there is a designation you guys should define designation as a, a drop down or pull down or a pick list so these so the custom fields can be assigned value when you edit those uh, users so let me go back to the admins in the admins module right here so again okay, so so you can see all those uh, as a ta admin you can actually uh, see all the leave summary for all the employees in the organization and you can actually edit them um, So, so the first column gives the opening balance of that uh, for that particular leave for the casual leave uh, of that during that month and then how much ever uh, hours you have accrued for that leave will be listed in the second column and then whatever you used during that month will be the third column and the last column is pretty much the closing balance or calculate the balance how much is left in each of those leaves there's also some navigation here if you want to go to the previous month's uh, data for that user you can actually do that so you can do previous and next and keep going to the uh, data for each of the users and there is also a um, month end or a period end process which runs uh, during the month end uh, that process pretty much calculates um, what is the uh, how much leave is that user used and uh, what, uh, how much they have accrued during that month, and it calculates the opening and the closing balance for each of those leaves, and that's the data we're seeing uh, here. So once that uh, data has been uh, modified or calculated by the batch process, the month-end batch process, the T admin actually wants to override. They can actually uh, override and save it here. So that is on the admins tab. You can also see those um, uh, clock in, clock out information on the timesheet also. On a particular timesheet, you're going to see the clock in, clock out information here. Uh, if you want to see details, you just click on this icon. And give you the clock in clock out and the difference in the total hours and all that so if they have done multiple clock in clock outs you will actually see those as uh, multiple rows here uh, actually in the future releases this is uh, there is a setting to enable disable this uh, showing of this uh, work time header so, so if you want to show it here you will see it here otherwise and they won't be appearing in the timesheet so once that is done, so when you want to clock in, you just go click on this uh, uh, green icon, which will clock you in. And once clocked in, this will actually turn into red, red color. So that's an indication of uh, there is a clock out due. So once you once you leave work or once you're done for the day, so you just click on the clock out and and then go. Uh, that is pretty much it on the attendance module, and uh, you can also run a report for the attendance. This reports tab. 
attendance report we pick choose the attendance report and then you can choose the other filters the groups and who all you want to see on the report and who will run the report for the last month you click apply it will generate a report of all the uh, employees in your organization for that particular month and give you all the um, leave information also their daily hour information here so the first column is uh, employee ID and then uh, employee name, their uh, join date, their date of birth, the designation and uh, these nine columns pretty much gives you the lead summary. So the first, these three columns, these three columns actually gives you the, um, the beginning balance of the leaves. So right now we're showing three leaves here, the sick leave, the casual leave and the holiday. And the next three columns actually gives you the uh, used information or whatever leaves they have used during that month will be these three columns. And then the last three, these three columns are the columns which shows the leave balance for uh, at the end of the month. And these are the daily hours they work during that month. There's also some summary information at the end. So this is a monthly view or the monthly report for uh, for all the employees in your organization. So you can actually save them as PDF using um, browser's uh, PDF capability and then save it in your uh, hard disk for later use. So that is uh, attendance module. In, uh, Let's go to the presentation. Just want to check if we have covered all. Yeah, that's pretty much it on the attendance module. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And uh, if you need any customization also, please feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to help you with any customization or any assistance. Thank you.